This video we're going to look at the double distributive property with you know x squared, x cubed, x to the power of four, um, higher uh, exponents on on the variables. So we'll just do we'll start with this page one and page two. So I'll do the example on the left uh, step by step, and then I'll ask you to press pause and try this one yourself. So if we had three x to the power of four minus one times five x cubed minus seven, uh, you want to even on this one you want to press pause and try it yourself and see if you can get the right answer. So press pause and try it, see what you come up with and then check the video and see if uh, see if uh, you got the same thing. So again it's the same uh, the same procedures before and again I like to call it the double distributive property because you basically take this term on the left and multiply it by each term in here and afterwards you take this term and multiply that by both okay so this by both and then this one by both so 3x to the power of 4 times 5x cubed is what? well you go 3 times 5 is 15 right? and what's x to the power of 4 times x to the power of 3? so again x to the power of 4 that's 4x's here right 1 2 3 4 and x cubed that's 1 2 3 x's so 4 of them times 3 of them would be 7 multiplied by each other so that would be x to the power of 7 right and then 3x to the power of 4 times negative 7 would be what? that would be a negative 21 right x to the power of 4 wouldn't it? and so that's the first step and the second step is to multiply everything by the negative one, right? So what's negative one times five x cubed? Is that just a negative five x cubed, right? And how about negative one times negative seven? Positive seven, right? And do we have any like terms we need to add here? No, there's an x to the power of seven term, an x to the power of 4 term and an x cubed term and then a number and these are all different terms they're not e they're not the same so there's nothing there that's the same that you can add together right so for fun just press pause try this one yourself and then check the video see if you get the same answer okay so this is the time this is the best time to make your math mistakes because then you can play the video and learn something figure out where you went wrong okay Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So we start with the negative 2n squared, multiply that by a negative n squared, and then multiply it by negative 10. Now, negative 2n squared times negative n squared, that's a negative times a negative, which is positive. Positive 2, and then n squared times n squared is n to the power of 4, right? Because this is n times n, and this one is n times n, right? 4n, so n to the power of 4. Now negative 2n squared times negative 10 gives what? Positive, right? 20n squared, right? And what about 3? Now we start with 3, right? What, what about 3 times negative n squared? And then 3 times negative 10. What does that give you? So that would be negative 3n squared, right? And then minus 10, right? And then if we add like terms, Add like terms, what do we get? Is there any like terms to add there? This time there are like terms to add, aren't there? Because you've got an n squared here and an n squared here. These are both like terms. We can put them together. But we can't, not the n to the power of 4. That's a different term. So in this example, we had an n x to the power of uh, 7, x to the power of 4, and x to the power of 3. These are all different terms, not like terms. Whereas when we come to this one, we do have two like terms, these guys here. So the answer is 2n to the power of 4, and then we've got 20 minus 3 plus 17n squared minus 10, right? Okay, so page 2. Uh, for fun, why don't you press pause and try this one yourself and see what you get, then I'll do it on the video. Okay, hope you press pause and tried it. I'll do it now. So we take the same procedure, just take a squared and times it by a squared, and then a squared times it by negative two thirds, right? A squared times a squared, a to the power of four, right? A squared times negative two thirds. It's just like it's just like a number times a fraction, okay? So that's just you know negative two thirds a squared, a squared times negative two thirds. That's all it is, right? 
and then what about what's you know what's one third times a squared and then what's one third times negative two thirds right a third times a squared is you know positive plus one third a squared that's all it is right what's one third times negative two thirds well a positive times a negative is what negative right and then if you multiply fractions you just multiply the tops one times two right I guess you I'll write it down so it's you know one third times two thirds and you multiply the tops then you multiply the bottoms and that's how you multiply fractions okay now are there any like terms that we can add in this for example for the next step so you've got an a squared here right and an a squared here right and um, and the a to the power of four is a different term so to to simplify to keep going with this this is a a to the power of four comes down now we'll just ignore this part but look negative two-thirds a squared plus one-third a squared what does that make negative two-thirds a squared plus one-third a squared what does that make well answer me this if you had negative two a squared plus one a squared what would that be that would be equal to negative one a squared wouldn't it where we're here we just we're just adding fractions now the denominators are the same right so they're both thirds they're both the same type of fraction and this is negative two of them plus one of them negative two plus one is negative one so the answer is right it's negative one third a squared isn't it right and then we have minus and a third times two thirds one times two is two three times three is nine right so that's the answer here. So press pause and try this one yourself. t to the power of 4 minus 3 fifths times t plus 4 fifths. Press pause, try that one yourself. Okay, I hope you've tried it. I'm going to do it now. So t to the power of 4 times t and then t to the power of 4 times 4 fifths, right? t to the power of 4 times t, that's 4 t's times another t gives us t to the power of 5, right? t to the power of 4 times 4 fifths gives us positive plus, you know, 4 fifths t to the power of 4, right? What about negative 3 fifths times t and then negative 3 fifths times 4 fifths? Negative 3 fifths times t is simply negative 3 fifths t and negative 3 fifths times positive 4 fifths is negative, right? And if you want you can write down 3 over 5 times 4 over 5. Okay, and then multiply it. In fact, I'm going to I'm going to um okay, multiply this right right soon. Okay. So, do we have any like terms this time? We don't, do we? Because this is a t to the power of 5. This one's a t to the power of 4. This is just a t and this is just a number so there's no like term so we just go okay the answer is t to the power of 5 plus 4 fifths t to the power of 4 you know minus 3 fifths t and then minus and then 3 times 4 is 12 and 5 times 5 is 25 and that's the answer right